And welcome back to Mesa, Arizona and the Carvana PPA Mesa Open. We apologize for the delay in coming back here to Grandstand Court. Uh, we've got action in the quarterfinals of women's doubles. We've got the number three seed, Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova taking on the 12 seed, Georgia Johnson and Mary Humberg. I'm Jim Kloss, I'm here with Scott Moore. I uh, apologize for uh, speaking during this point, but we wanted to get you all caught. We see the score. Uh, Johnson and Humbert took game 111-9, up 8-6. Scott, good afternoon, and how you doing? Great to be here, Jim. I am well and uh, excited to be with you. This promises to be a great finish. Always hard to finish. And that was a nice ball by Georgia Johnson. She let it go just out 9-6. Can they pull off the last two points? Always tough to finish, especially when you're playing the three seed, Jim. We'll keep it right here. We've got a timeout. Uh, again, we apologize for the day. We had a little bit of a internet uh, misconnection. Uh, we'll update you on Humana uh, Center Court, where we've got uh, quarterfinal action in mixed doubles. The number one seed, Ben Johns, and Annalie Waters taking on the number seven seed, Catherine Parento and Jack Sock. They've split 1-1, one -one, and Waters and Johns have taken a 5-3 lead. Uh, looks like uh, CP and Sock are serving at 3-5-1. Scott, what do you think about this? Yeah, I match? got to watch the first couple games, and first game was pretty dominant by Jack and Catherine. Catherine didn't miss anything, just set Jack up. He went ballistic. Third game didn't work so well. They kind of neutralized them. Okay, we've got action back on in grandstand court. Oh, boy. Left that up. Callie left it up for Georgia. That's not coming back, Jim. She finished it. Here we go, match point. Her first match point for Johnson and Humbert. Let's see if they can put it away. It would be a very nice win by them. Yeah, it would be a nice upset. <laughs> okay. Mary goes down swing in there. Went for a bit big win. Now they get the second serve. This will be interesting. Feeling a lot of pressure on this one. 6 10 2. Just takes a deep breath. 10 6 2, I should say. Not 6 10 2. 10 6 2. Oh boy. Everybody's had the experience of losing when you were ahead 10 6. So let's see how. Georgia and Mary handle this. Unlucky net court. Callie left that one up a little bit. Georgia yep. has a nice Georgia. backhand put away. Georgia has some pop. Oh, boy. That's an uncharacteristic mistake by Callie. Here we go, third match point. And that'll do it. A nice upset by the 12 seed, Georgia Johnson and Mary Humbert. Taking yeah. down the three seed, Smith and Kovalova, 11 9, 11 6. And if, if you, you mention it, and I, I said the same thing, but I'm not really sure it's an upset. I mean, Smith and Kovalova have had the history, they've had great runs, but these up and coming teams like Johnson and Humberg are legit, Jim. They're going to beat lots of teams. So it may be an upset of the seeding, but I don't think they're, sh they're shocked. And, and I'm we'll not take surprised. A Commercial break here. You can come back to the uh, Mesa Open in just a moment. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Imagine that.
that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Eolia. Sketchers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. For muscle cramps and spasms, what's your move? The Hercules? The elephant? The pogo? Make the move to TheraWorks. It absorbs quickly for relief of muscle cramps and spasms. A safe, gentle, non-opioid formula you can use every day to keep moving without the mess or strong odor. For fast relief of muscle cramps and spasms, TheraWorks works. Try TheraWorks and get back at it. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Big it up, big it up. Yep. Say sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. And welcome back to the Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup. Jim Kloss here with Scott Moore bringing you grandstand action. We've got uh, women's doubles action coming up here, quarterfinals. 
We've got the number two seed, Anna Bright and Vivian David, taking on the eight seed, Tina Pisnick and Jesse Irving. And again, I'm joined by uh, Hall of Famer Scott Moore. Scott, uh, what do you think of this upcoming match? Well, it's great to be with you, Jim, and uh, fun to be here. I think it's going to be a absolute battle. I mean, there is no one more competitive than Anna Bright. Vivian David is now showing what Pickleball Worlds has known, that she can win the big match. Just had a huge mixed doubles win with Thomas Wilson against Riley Newman, and that was a barn burner. And um, what was it, 15-13? 13 with Jeff Komodo on yep. Riley's side in game three. Tina Pisnik has done it lots of times in tennis world and is making her presence known here. Jesse Irvine's the, the veteran of the group, been around for a long time. She's got the whole package. I have not seen them, the two of them play together, so that should be interesting. See how they're matching. Obviously, they're playing well to get to the big final eight. So I think it could go either way. You know, you got the seeds that don't mean much anymore. And I think that's where we are in pickleball. There's so much parity now that whoever plays better is going to win this thing. That is for sure. That's the best of the best out here on the PPA Tour. I did see both of these uh, pairs play yesterday. Um, I had expected Tina Pisnik to play a lot of left side power game and Jesse Irvin sort of play the right side defensive game. They surprised me where Jesse played Actually, they stacked some with Jesse on the left. And yeah. Jesse played wonderful pickleball. Everybody everybody did in the match, but Jesse in particular played some really wonderful pickleball. Um, yeah. yeah, she hits the ball as hard as anybody out there. I mean, I think she's maybe known as more of a defensive player because she does play well on the right side. But that really doesn't surprise me that she can take over on the left because she can just flat out smoke that pickleball. Yeah, she was cranking the forehand. On the other side, Anna Bright and Vivian David. Uh, as most people know, Anna typically plays with Rachel Rohrbacher. Rachel taking this one off. And uh, Anna Bright sort of slumming with uh, the wonderful Vivian David, yeah, the happiest right. player in pickleball. Yep, she is the happiest, most smiliest player out there, and she's got to be feeling really good right now. The question, though, Jim, that I have is, can she do it again? I mean, that was a quite an emotional match out there. Um, and she was out there for way over an hour. Center court, big crowd, big win. What she got left in the tank, we'll see. Well, Vivian's typically a high energy player. Yeah, she is. Um, what I noticed uh, yesterday with uh, the Vivian Anna pair is when uh, Anna Bright plays with Rachel Robrocker, they play a very fast paced game, very aggressive, lots of speed ups, not afraid to uh, hammer that ball at the opponent in the transition area and everywhere else. And I expected that they play sort of a ham and egg with Vivian playing a more defensive style. Instead, yeah. Vivian came out there firing, and I had the opportunity to ask her about it later. And uh, she said with the with the Vulcan ball, the official ball of the PPA Tour, the Vulcan ball and the new paddle technology that she thought uh, speeding it up and playing an aggressive style was the right move, and I, I have to agree with her. Yeah, and, and she's got a very high pickleball IQ. So she's gonna, depending on who she's playing against, like when she just played that mixed doubles match, she was resetting everything and setting Thomas up and they were just just playing it perfectly. This match, like you said yesterday, I would expect her to be resetting and setting Anna up a little more, but we'll see. Maybe she'll attack because in women's doubles, she probably can overpower sometimes if she gets the right ball, but Jesse and Tina have great hands so she, I think she'll pick her battles carefully. Talking about Vivian when she does speed it up. Well, we'll see. I don't expect a lot of long ding points. Uh, Anna Bright, quite possibly the most aggressive player on the women's side um, and doing a really, really good job. Uh, I think taking advantage of the, the characteristics of the Vulcan ball, new to the PPA Tour this year, I think the Vulcan ball accepts topspin a little more than the Dura did and uh, rewards an aggressive serve and aggressive play. Yeah, I, I hadn't had a chance to play with it, but tomorrow I will get that chance. Well, you have to come out to Kloss Castle tomorrow on my courts. We've got a whole bunch of Vulcan balls, the official ball of the PPA Tour, Vulcan paddle, the official paddle of the PPA Tour, both available on 
Pickleballcentral.com. You've got a little break here before we get started on grandstand action. Dial up pickleballcentral.com on your internet connection and order yourself some Vulcan balls and try it out. And go on Pickleball Forum and let me know what you think. Yeah, I was uh, played with it extensively this morning. And what did you think? I was pretty happy with it. I, uh, it takes a little getting used to, again, since it accepts topspin so much, and it does hop on you. Here's Vivian David to open it up for us. Wow, Jim, you are right. Just like you said, Vivian's coming out swinging. Hits a third shot drive and then finishes it with a nice forehand. Now that's more the Vivian I'm expecting. Mm -hmm. Perfect third shot drop. Anna rushes the net, puts pressure on, and Jesse misses it. So that's what I expect to see a lot of. And there's the power I'm talking about. You leave it up on Jesse's forehand, even or her backhand. She is going to put some MPHs on that. Great return by Vivian David, keeping Jesse back way behind the baseline when she hit her third shot. That's what you want to do, folks. When you're playing, make sure they're back in the green to hit that third. Makes it a lot tougher. Nice forehand there from Anna Bright. Yep, got it down at Jesse's feet, right where you want it, and won the rally. 2-0-1 here in game one. All right, that time Vivian drives it. Tina puts it back at Anna's feet, so I think she'll go back to the drop shot on this one. Let's see. Vivian's looking to be aggressive. That's a good sign. Nice put away down the middle, 3-0-2. Nice deep serve. Sometimes you get semi-forced errors when you hit a deep enough serve. And that was a good, really good deep serve. A couple of uncharacteristic unforced errors from Jesse Irvin early on. I think Jesse and Tina look a little tight. I don't they're making some mistakes they normally don't make. Let's see if they can, once they get a sweat going, overcome the jitters or whatever is ailing them. Wow. Very hard to see that coming. She held it forever and then it was a loop Forehand semi lob over Tina's backhand side. What a great shot by Vivian David there. 602. Great defense by Anna and Vivian, but they never could hit a good enough shot to get forward. Tina did a great job of keeping her back, just continuing to hit back at her feet, not giving her any break breaks, them any breaks. Great, great point. Nice drop from midcourt by Jesse. And we see what we saw yesterday with uh, Irvin now s stacking going on the left side. A little something to Mix things up. Yeah, we need a little change, so I like that. Boom, boom. One, six, two. I think all four players have pretty good power, especially off the forehand side. Don't yep. want to be leaving balls up in this match. No, those are tough. You can get one back, but winning the point is another story when you're under that much duress. Six one one. Back to Vivian David. Ooh. 
Nice shot by Jesse Irvin to take Anna wide. Anna popped it up. Jesse finishes the point. Great point construction there by Jesse Irvin. Tina's hitting her dinks a little high. Looks like she is more comfortable hitting it hard. Doesn't want to get into a dink rally. So let's see if she can stay out of that. No. Nope. I think they need a timeout, and they took it. A little shake and bake from uh, David and Bright. Everything's going their way. Early 8-1 lead. Uh, seems Scott like the difference on this one has been a few unforced errors on the Irvin Pisnik side. Yeah, and and, uh, and and Bright and David just haven't given them anything. They've made them work for the single point they got, but just haven't given them hardly any thing to work with. Just playing solid, very smart pickleball right now. A few nerves are not unusual in a pickleball tournament early on in a match yet. What are your advice for people, Scott, about trying to handle that? You know, I think You've just got to play through it. You've got to keep swinging, playing your game. You know, sometimes you just say, hey, I just can't keep playing this badly. and Or else I tell myself sometimes, hey, it's just pickleball. Why am I getting so uptight? You know, this is not going to change my life winning this point or match even. So you just kind of try to talk yourself into relaxing, slowing it down, taking a deep breath, relaxing your shoulders, and, you know, just kind of sometimes you just got to let it rip. Now that was fortunate for Jesse. She was swinging at that, but it went out. Good thing she missed it. Maybe she was pulling off a little bit, but I think she tried to hit it. That's the case. You just say good eye, partner, and smile. One nine one. Pisnik and Irvin need to come up with something if they're going to try to turn around game one. Yeah, game one is pretty much now or never. This is their chance. Let's see if they can make a run. I expect them to relax right here because they're down. And have nothing to lose, so here we go. Can the comeback begin? Air by Anna Bright makes it 2-9-1. Wow. Jesse had some volume on that. Boom. Anna got it, but was in a compromised position. I think Tina maybe got a net roll on that. So. 3 9 1. Here they come. Jesse's just getting real aggressive on her backhand drive, two in a row. Has caught him caught off guard. Three point run here, 4 Good, 9 yeah, 1. Yeah, nice change of strategy. And like I said, now they had nothing to lose at 1-9, and they're playing a lot looser pickleball. So let's see if they can keep it going. Nice reset there. Oh. Wow. Now that, that point was extremely good defense by Tina and Jesse just to stay in it. And then I think they just endured long enough to take a timeout there by Bright and David. We'll take a timeout as well and come back here shortly. Welcome back to the Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup here on the PPA Tour. We've got quarterfinal action on Grandstand Court. Vivian David, Anna Bright against Jesse Irving and Tina Pisnick. Pisnick and Irving on a bit of a roll. You 
you know, they've started dropping their thirds to try to get in, and it worked. That time they couldn't quite get up there, not quite good enough. Let's see how this works. Here they are, they've got the neutralized position. Can they win the dink rally? I think Tina wants that one back. She can make that shot. Just caught the tape. It's a good yeah. time out there by Brighton David. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, nice. Anna Bright. Taking that backhand right smack down the middle. Nobody home. Anna Bright, very confident of firefight. She's she's happy to, to make the first speed up. She does like that. And they force the air to win game one, Jim. First game goes to Bright and David, 11-5. And uh, we will take a short break here and come back with uh, game two in just a moment. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Bear difference. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. And welcome back to Mesa, Arizona and the Carvana Mesa, Arizona Cup. We've got grandstand court action. Vivian David and Anna Bright against Tina Pisnick, Jesse Irvin. Bright and David took game one fairly easily, 11-5. Scott, if you were uh, Pisnik and Irving, what would you do to try to turn this match around? Well, I think two main things. One, I would return to Anna Bright to try to keep her back. She's more dangerous at the net. So I'd like to see them try to keep her back a little more. And I'd like to see Tina take the third shots and drop it, get Jesse in. They had a little run when Jesse was coming in, firing with her backhand. So those are the two things that I would tell them to do if I was coaching them, Jim. Vivian did with a nice two wow. back in there. Take a early 2-0 lead. Okay, they got it. To, they got it to Anna, and she missed it. So that's that's their that's got to be their go-to now. She's more dangerous and probably less consistent. Zero two one. Nice deep ball there, keeping Jesse back on the baseline, and she caught the tape. That was a good sign from Tina Pisnik. She hit a couple of really nice dinks and, and beat David in a dink rally. That has to keep happening if they're going to win this match. One, two, two, game two. Nice shot, caught the line. A little bit of inside out forehand there. Anna Bright leaning middle like you should and Tina just hit a beautiful winner.
They're still letting Jesse take the middle on the thirds. I think that's a mistake. I want to get Jesse up to the net, have Tina step over, hit her backhand drop shot. Caught the top of the tape there from Vivian Davis. Yeah, uncharacteristic mistake. Good, good return, but. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I think Tina thought that ball was going to be higher, and she committed to swinging hard. It ended up at her ankle. So she dumped it in the net. 3-2-2. Two, two. Wow. Vivian David saved that point once, but she couldn't do it twice. Great shot down the line of that backhand. That's money. Two, three, one back to his Nick and Urban. Three great drop shots. Oh boy. Maybe the best point of the match, Jim, right there. It caught Jesse Irving a little bit off the line and yep, she kept, never kept quite the pressure on her. Closed into the kitchen. In spite of both of them hitting some great resets. Vivian David on fire. Wow. Again, that was two points in a row there where Jesse was a couple of feet behind the kitchen. Yeah. Didn't, didn't quite come up. She does have a tendency to sometimes hang back. And she that's does, but I think she needs to get in her offensive mindset and take it to him a little bit. The defense isn't working. There you go. They took it to him a little more that that point. They got a second serve, so here we go. I mean, Dave with some beautiful resets here. That's a good drive. And that's what we've been seeing from Vivian David here at this tournament. Is yeah, she's a lot more aggressive play. Yeah, she's her. mixing it up better than I've ever seen her. She's got a hard game to go with the great soft game she's always had. Love to see that. Mm, another great reset. Not that time. Mm -hmm. But again, she's making them hit more balls than they're probably used to seeing some of those come back. Wow. Yeah, Vivian Day with the backhand resets. She's like a wall out there. 2 4 1, game two. Okay, so that was a perfect example, Jim. Jesse's pulling the trigger from three feet behind the kitchen line, giving them plenty of time to counter. I want to see her all the way up there doing that, and then they're not going to have time to reset it. That was better. She got up there that time. Do you see the difference? All the difference in the point. One they win, one they lose. Three, four, two. Great two drops in a row by Jesse here. Now, now they're putting pressure on him. And a little frustrated with herself. We got we got a game now. Four four two. Nice reset. They're just too far back. They're not going to win. Look where they are. In a firefight, they're both four or five feet behind the line. Bright and David are right at the line. Who's going to win that 90% of the time, Jim? Pretty tough to win from four feet behind right? the line. If they can reset it, it's one thing. But when you're firefighting, mm, great ball. That was kind of the <coughs> flip side there. Anna that was, was that time. Anna's back. Tina got it at her feet. Wins the point. Much easier place to play from.
Okay, Tina's bringing it now. That's her game, too. If, she, if they can get on a roll with a little power game here by using the soft to get into the hard, I think we're going to have a heck of a match. Oh, that's just really good. Everybody expects that ball to go down the middle. Vivian pulls it behind Tina down the line. Wow. Vivian Davis is as good as anybody at bending the knees, staying low on the ball. If uh, she didn't have good form on that shot, there's no way she could convert it. Yeah, just that's a, a tough ball. shot. I mean, just not easy, and she perf hit it perfectly. Mikey, yeah, I don't know what. 4-4-2. I don't know where he's at. Game two. I thought he would be here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice ball. Down. So we went and had uh, dinner with them after. We had sushi. Great construction there by Jesse Irvin. She hit that down the line, got Anna off the line, and then closed in, forcing yeah, the air. Wow, Jesse, way to wait on that. Here's the perfect technique for an Ernie. Let it let it get as far as possible and then pull it way down the line. Beautiful. And after that nice ATP by just here, we'll take a break here. And Mason come back in just a moment. Roche Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Typical insurance for every senior. I'm not actually a stereotypical senior. I just play one in cheesy health insurance commercials. In real life, I have Humana because they see me. Listen to what I need. It's refreshing. Humana. <laughs> and we're back here at the uh, Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup. I'm just having a little fun at Scott Moore's expense. Obviously, Scott knows the difference between Ernie and ATP. But, I gotta uh, quit. I gotta quit drinking. I guess. Uh, well, he beats me on the, the pickleball Ernie. court, so I gotta kid him on the broadcast. All right. There's a perfect ATP. My bad. That's a great pull point. Tremendous defense there from Irvin and Pitts. They yeah, they couldn't quite stayed change in it, it on it. to offense. Just couldn't quite get it converted to their advantage, right? Anna Bright pulled the trigger a little early. Tina was ready for it. Got it down at Vivian's feet for the point. Love the way Anna Bright goes down the line with that backhand. Jesse's leaning middle. Just jammed her a little bit. Very nice shot selection by Anna Bright. Five, six, two. Wow, that Coming one long. just sailed out. But they're def definitely favoring Anna Bright's forehand over Vivian's backhand on that third. Yeah, they're, they're, she's been pretty aggressive with that. Mm. Anna was not fooled. <laughs> Anna's drives have been a little high. Not, not a lot high, but a little high. Yeah, but they're not taking advantage of it. That time, Anna just stayed so compact on her volley and just was out front, just perfect textbook technique there. Wow. Vivian David handles the fastball down the middle but can't quite get the second one down. And Jesse makes her pay. 6-7-1. Pisnick and Irvin need this game to force a game three.
Yep. Anna Bright keeping the pressure on. Keeping it in their feet hard. It's really hard to reset that. They couldn't do it. side out oh boy very close very close there are no um, computer uh, playbacks on grandstand court no ability to challenge other than asking the referee might have been a millimeter or two out Jim I think I think it was slightly it's a good eye on that call. good eye on that wow she guessed right but just a tough, tough shot. Get that back in play. Brighton David looking to put away game two and the match. 7 6 2. Oh, no. Communication <laughs> breakdown. That's the worst scenario when you both think the other person's going to take it. They got to communicate before they get in that situation or during. All right, I think they need a timeout. And okay, here we go. Call there by Scott Moore, known as timeout strategy. And we will take a timeout ourselves here and come back shortly to the Mesa Arizona Cup. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. Welcome back to the PPA Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup. We've got quarterfinal action women's doubles. Vivian David serving here to Tina Pisnik up 9-6. Oh, a little bit unlucky there. Jesse had her on the ropes and caught the net, bounced up. We have a match point here. Match point. Wow. Well. And there That'll it is. That'll do it. Great plan. Anna Bright, Vivian David, they earned it. 11-5, 11-6. I think... Uh, David and Bright were certainly the aggressors, Scott, that whole match, and a few a few more unforced errors on the Pisnik Irving side, I think, was the difference. Yeah, I think, and they forced some of those errors. Let's face it, I mean, they were hitting Anna and Vivian hitting balls hard into their feet. So you could call some of those unforced errors for sure, but some of them I would definitely call forced errors. They're, they're bringing it to them. Just great playing. They were, they were bringing the heat. Anna Bright certainly has that style with uh, her typical partner, Rachel Rohrbacher. And we'll take a break here and come back in just a few. Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour.
better believe me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picked another pieces. Fuck it up. La Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. La Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. actually a stereotypical senior, I just play one in cheesy health insurance commercials. In real life, I have Humana because they see me. Listen to what I need. It's refreshing. Humana. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts.
from the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal. A new court beckons. A new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion. That's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to. Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. to help. Welcome back to Mesa, Arizona and the Carvana Mesa, Arizona Cup here on the PPA Tour. Jim Kloss joined by Scott Moore for grandstand action. We've got some men's doubles quarterfinal action coming up here in just a moment. The two seed J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier against the seven seed Connor Garnett and D.J. Young. Again, Jim Kloss here, joined by Scott Moore. Scott, what do you think of this uh, interesting match we've got coming up? I think it could be interesting. I, I like uh, J-Dub and Dylan just because they're experienced and hands. But, uh, you know, D.J. is a, a wild card. When he's on, he's as good as anybody in the game. He's got unbelievable power. Um, just a matter of if he can do it consistently because they're going to make him hit a lot of balls. Connor Garnett has got a lot of game. He's got the really good backhand roll shot. So he can stay in a rally a long time and set DJ up. So if they're patient and they don't make a lot of unforced errors, we may have a heck of a match. If not, it's going to be one-sided and J-Dub and Dylan are just going to roll. And I can't tell you which one's going to happen. It's a coin flip. I'll tell you one thing about this match, Scott, is, is four of the nicest people you run into are in this match. Uh, had the pleasure of talking to all of them. Uh, J-Dub came by the my house the other day to warm up with his sister, Georgia. Uh, no Connor Garnett very well. D DJ is, you won't, won't find a nicer person yeah, around. Dylan great Frazier, guys. great guy. All, all really, really good people. Obviously, no great, question. great players. Yeah, that's and really nice about the pickleball world. There are lots of players like these guys that are just class acts. So fun, could be a good, fun match to watch. DJ getting us started with a quick point. They survived that J-Dub backhand, which is yep. not an easy thing no, to do. No, J-Dub just pulled it a little wide, but he won't do that that often. Now that was even closer. That one missed by. Wow, an inch. Connor let that go. That is that is an eagle eye right there. How did he do it? Great D, DJ. But they didn't let him off hook. They just kept the pressure on. That's the problem. Playing J Dub and Dylan, they just keep the pressure on you. Lightning in a bottle or a backhand, if you will. Dylan Frazier. He's swinging so quick. Nice drop shot misplayed by DJ Young. 2 2 1 Hurley on here in game one.
once again attack Dylan at your peril. Boom, he's ready on that counter so quickly. Great shot, Dylan Frazier. Good eye, DJ. Sometimes the attack and duck is your best friend, and that was well done there. Connor Garnett being the aggressor there, a little surprising, but I like it. Two, three, one. Now one thing that happens, Scott, with uh, Johnson Frazier, like the Johns brothers, they love to get in the dink bank game and force the other team to do the speed up, and then they counter. Yeah, they counter so well. It's, I don't think they're going to want to dink a lot with Connor in his backhand, so I think they'll move it around, dink more to DJ. DJ's a little more dangerous because he's longer, but Connor's a little more consistent, so I think that's kind of how they'll play it. Nice spot, DJ, right at Dylan's feet. Very tough to pick that up. Missed it wide. Just a little wide. Good eye again. They're not, not hitting any out balls. Those were all three of those. They let go have been very close, but all out. Pull that out. Connor got in trouble. And he guessed middle. That's what you want to do whenever you hit it too high. He guessed middle, was able to almost get back into the point by keeping one more alive. But J Dub and Dylan did finish it off. Not that high, and J-Dub just ripped it. He has right. very good flicks off both not, back. Yeah, that flick is him. deadly. Nice move, Connor Garnett, for the poach. Winner. Connor Garnett may be the quickest player on tour. He is quick, and you notice he didn't powder puff it. When you poach, you're out of position. You better put it away. Great job of hitting that winner. Oh, what a spot. DJ was even moving to protect his backhand. j still got it into his body. That's just a perfect spot. Three, five, two. Mm 
J-Dub with a fairly rare forehand speed up. Yep. Usually, usually pretty conservative uh, off the forehand. Yeah, Connor wasn't ready, so <laughs> maybe that's why. Not used to seeing that. Nice move, Connor. I think they thought DJ was going to get that ball and kind of froze him in the middle. Normally they protect that, but a little deception there. Trouble. Nice reach in by Dylan. Boom, flick, and goodbye. I think Dylan is starting to move a little middle because DJ's dinking pretty exclusively middle. Yeah, so he's anticipating. Dylan's anticipating it, catching it early, and he got him that time. Looked out, but I don't know what they call great. ATP Great defense. ATP recovery. Oh, I don't know. In. I think that was in. It's pretty darn close. Did they give it to him? They did. And we're going to take a time out here at Mesa. We'll be back in just a moment. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. Welcome back to Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup Grandstand Action quarter quarterfinal match. Johnson Frazier against Garnett Young. Of course, we're using the Vulcan ball, the official ball of the PPA Tour. The Vulcan paddle, the official paddle of the PPA Tour. Check those out on pickleballcentral.com. It's a place for all of your pickleball equipment needs. Johnson Frazier with an early 7-3 lead and what's been a pretty well-played match. Yeah, pretty clean. Let's see if DJ and Connor can make an adjustment to get back in this thing. They're down 7-3. I like the timeout. And looks like it was effective. Connor Garnett to serve at 3-7-1. Mm. What great defense. Oh, that would have been epic. What a great pickleball point. Connor just, oh, he just missed it by tried to three inches. It yeah, he tried to pull it back around. That's the only way he didn't have quite enough angle. Love the point, though. Fabulous pickleball point. Quite an onslaught from Johnson and Frazier and Young and Garnett got everything back. Yeah, they must have had seven or eight resets during that point. to duck when it comes into your midsection that quickly. He knew it was out, but nothing he could do. Fast hands, though, from Dylan Frazier. Well, that's the thing. If you attack Dylan Frazier, or JW for that matter, you better be ready because the ball is coming back faster than you hit it. Significant interest on that. Oh, what a great drive down the line for a clean winner. Dylan Frazier, thank you very much. I think Garnett and DJ are playing pretty well. They're just uh, they're just well, getting beat by a team on fire. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just not giving them anything. Making perfect choices. I mean, they you know they've done it for years together, and they're just they know how to roll it once they get the momentum, and that's what you're seeing right now. They're just keeping the roll going. Looks like DJ and Garnett may try to flip flip sides here. They nope. need to do something. 
when it's not working, you go to plan B. It's time. Oh man, what a get. All right. 11-3, game one. Maybe time for plan C. <laughs> we need the, he tried the lob. And we're gonna take a break here before you come back with game two and we'll come back after a few commercial messages. Guaranteed rate, we understand that life is about more than mortgages. Our aim is to empower you on your holistic journey to well-being and longevity by helping you achieve your financial and personal goals. Our new completely free rate app focuses on community, nutrition, and exercise, as well as offering a variety of financial tips and tools. The rate app was built to support your mind, body, and spirit, helping to simplify your life and reduce your stress. Download the rate app and start living your best life. to the Carvana Mesa, Arizona Cup here in beautiful Mesa, Arizona, outskirts of Phoenix, Arizona. I'm Jim Kloss with Scott Moore. Coming up here is game two of Grandstand Action. Johnson Frazier having won game one, 11-3 over Garnett and Young. Scott, what do you think of game two? What do DJ and Connor need to do to try to turn this around? They need to pull out all the stops. You know, the, their traditional game is not working. I would switch it around, play DJ on the left side some, let his length try to dictate. I would try to really driving at them, going hard, really maybe throwing in a few lobs. I mean, just be unpredictable. The predictability is not working for them, so they got to. One of the nice things about pickleball is you can change your strategy pretty pretty quickly. So it's time, and here they can They're coming out swinging. I like it. Connor Garnett with a big forehand to take a. 1-0-1 lead. I think it was a backhand, Jim, but that's or right. backhand, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a backhand. Two hand backhand's backhand. the other, yeah. Backhand's on that side. All right. Now we're, now we're even now after we're the even. ATP or anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, Fair love enough. That. Love that. <laughs> I'll teach you to hit a backhand later. Yeah. Oh, nice. Not only are they coming out swinging, but they're letting balls go that are out by a couple of inches. That's always a good sign that you're focused. Connor is quick. Man, he is. 3-0 lead. Let's see what they can do with that. I like the start for him. J-Dub was up to the task that time. Mm -hmm. Two drives. He was ready and Third one puts away. Let's see who's got the quicker hands. Mm. Some unbelievable reflexes there. DJ is really ripping some backhands here in game two. Oh. Yeah, he's stepping in and just saying, "Hey, if we're going down, we're going down swinging." So I like the I like the change. He's being more aggressive. I still, would like to see him on the left side a little bit, but but hey, if you can do that, uh, that works well. Zero three two. Hmm. Got the back fence on that one. One thing about DJ, he's got all the talent in the world. He's got some big wins over the Johns brothers and so on. Just a little inconsistent sometimes. Yep. Goes for a little too much sometimes and then two unforced errors in a row. So got to keep the pressure on him right here. If you're Garnett and Young, no easy points. There you go, nice. Uh, again, Connor doesn't hit uh, balls. He, he's yeah. got a good eye on that. I think Dylan went for the body shot, but that's tough on Connor. Right, he's so quick.
goodbye. <laughs> J-Dub set himself up well with a little backhand yeah. flick. He gets a lot of power with a very, very short stroke. That ball is on them so quickly. There's not much they can do. Got forced to pop up and then it was over. All right, good D. Can they get back up? What a rally. Holy mackerel. Hello. Oh, what a point, Crowd. Wow. Really love that one. That is pickleball. Must have been 50 shot rally. Had everything, including a phenomenal firefight at the end. Boom. That J Dub finished with a bang. Best point of the match. What? A great pickleball point. Maybe we see DJ showing a little frustration. Yeah. May have been from that long point, losing it, and then loses focus. I don't know, but they better stay focused. This can get away from them very quickly if they don't. balls that's these guys are real pros four three one Johnson Frazier turn game one around or game two around yep oh nice angle DJ Dylan was leaning middle ready for the reset or counter and DJ pulled it to his forehand side that's really effective a lot of times Uncharacteristic, D. Uh, Dylan popped that up and then caught it Could in the chest. Try to do a little unusual low flick. Yeah, he just he got it up too high. Goodbye. That one's not coming back very often. Three, four, two. Oh, just didn't quite have the angle. Maybe he could have waited a tiny bit longer, but mm, just didn't get out as far as he thought it would. Boy, did J-Dub read that one? It was like... <laughs> that is a no-go zone, though. Yeah. I mean, J-Dub was leaning in before he hit the ball, hoping that he would hit it there. And, man, did he finish that. Garnett and Young call a timeout. Good time to do it. And we will take a timeout here and come back more to the Mesa Arizona Cup here on the PPA Tour. Play. Hard. For fun. To win. To live. Whatever you're playing, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on.
When the game gets intense, don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say goodbye to caked on gunk and slippery surfaces and say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Backed by science and made with love by passionate pickleball players just like you. Experience the reset difference today. Reset. Play hard. Play clean. And welcome back to the Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup. We've got mm. men's quarterfinal action. Johnson and Frazier against Garnett Young. Uh, Johnson Frazier won game one. They're now taking a little bit of a lead here with a run in game two. Yeah, they got six straight unanswered points. So... That has to stop if DJ and Connor are going to back, get back into this match. Mm. What reflexes Dylan Frazier off the net? Off the net. And he's able to get power on it, yes. too, not just get it back. Exactly. Great it's just defense. lightning in a hand battle mm. yep once again Dylan hitting a good shot most people hit that ball but Connor is letting them go out that's really good judgment there mm. tough to lob these guys Tough to lob in men's doubles. Yeah. So athletic. So quick. Good spring and a good rip on the forehand overheads. Nice penetrating dink there by J-Dub. Had a lot of spin on that. Connor tried to back off and take it. Like it's off the bounce, but 9-3-2. Took it in the net. 9-3-2. This one could be over in a hurry here. Yep, it's getting away from him. Nine straight points. Make it 10. And we have the route that we were, I was afraid of. A couple of loose shots. Yeah, they're just too consistent. Four of them in there. You That's go. kind of the story. Is Connor going up? It's another unfortunate error to end it. And we got identical scores of 11-3, 11-3. Johnson Frazier on to the semifinals with a fairly easy win. And yep. that'll wrap up grandstand action for the night here at the Carvana Mesa Arizona Cup. I'm Jim Kloss. Enjoyed my day with Scott Moore. A lot of fun, Jim. Scott, any final thoughts? I'll, one mention we should make of Humana Center Court. We've got the Brasha sisters another match on point. Yeah, another match point. Right, lost game one and now have a match point. So quite they, a comeback. Yeah, they lost game one 11 0. So this is phenomenal. Just way to turn it around, right? They changed their strategy and they're on the verge of getting into the semifinals. That's just huge. So a great comeback. It looks like the Brasha sisters and we will be back tomorrow with our own comeback with all center court action tomorrow on Saturday. Semifinal action. Please join us either in person or on TV, and we will see you next time. Signing off.